Meanwhile, help for Minnesota businesses could be coming soon. The state Senate overwhelmingly passed a $216 million relief bill and a 13-week extension of unemployment benefits. Here's a live Without feed from the money. Minnesota House where lawmakers so are discussing the bill right now. They are expected to approve it any minute. While the help is desperately needed, some say it's too little too late. Here's Esme Murphy. I take this bill as a step in the right direction, but it is a small step and there is much more needed to support our communities. The $216 million bill will provide $90 million in grants of between ten dollars and $45,000 for restaurants and bars whose business is down more than 30 percent. $112 million will go to Minnesota counties to provide grants for businesses down less than 30 percent. And $14 million will go for grants for theaters and convention centers, grants ranging from $15,000 to $150,000. The bill also extends unemployment for 13 weeks for 120,000 Minnesotans. Many Republicans who voted for the bill place some of the blame on Governor Tim Wall's shutdowns. No, I don't think this is enough, and I hope the governor... Uh uh, opens up businesses. But Democrats defended the governor. But let's not pretend that we're doing this because the governor caused this problem, because the governor didn't cause this problem. Many agreed the limited relief does not touch so much of what the virus has taken. We're going to pay for this for years, members. Our children are suffering. They're going to continue to suffer. Republicans and DFLers disagree on whether businesses and restaurants that remain open and defy the shutdown orders should be able to collect relief checks. Republicans say these businesses should not be punished. DFL House leaders say they should not get checks. All eyes are now on the governor, who on Wednesday is expected to announce whether or not he will extend the shutdowns. At the Capitol, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. The organization that represents Minnesota restaurants and bars, Hospitality Minnesota, released a statement saying while the bill is not perfect, it strikes the important balance of providing swift, direct financial aid to a large number of businesses.